Now, the last time we talked about this situation for the 119th time, because this drama is just like a Mr. Beast video full of surprises. But the only difference is the drama is natural. It's not fake like Mr. Beast. You got my point. And before we get into the video, let me Sunny V2 this shit up for you so you'll be caught up with things. Mr. Ava and Mr. Beast were having a freaky DD Discord party. And you see this guy over here? He exposed Mr. Beast. Now that you're caught up to things, the guy who exposed Mr. Beast for faking his videos, every uh, picking out winners, rigging the whole show, exposing gambling to children. Well, he is getting sued. Former Mr. Beast employee Dog Pack 404 served a season disease letter days after releasing the video calling the YouTuber Mr. Beast a fraud. Now, if you don't know what a season disease letter is, don't worry. I didn't know it at first. At the beginning, I thought they will seize you and they will decease you, meaning torturing you but i asked my good friend google and this is what he had to say it is a written notice demanding that the recipient recipient meaning the dog pack 404 immediately stops an illegal or alleged illegal activity basically if you don't shut up i will shut up you a cease and desist order is issued by a court or government agency that has legal power a cease and desist letter may be sent by an individual or a company it is a request but it may be followed by legal actions if ignored and what was Dog Pack's response to all of these? Did he back down? Did he remove the video? Nope. He started exposing Mr. Beast even more. Mr. Beast's legal team did send me a cease and desist, and here's my official response to that. He went on a three minute of roasting Mr. Beast once more, exposing him of your charity working for a Coca-Cola company, the ones who actually caused this. Also saying 34 million pounds of gar garbage has been removed from the sea. He said that he was saving the ocean, but it shows that 90 million pounds of garbage and plastic comes to the ocean. It took you three years to remove eight hours worth of plastic and you're claiming like you're saving the world. I mean, to be fair, even though he made a big deal about it, at least he's doing something about the whole situation. And Dog Pack, you're a great investigator. You would be an amazing user. YouTuber, you would be a coffeezilla 3.0 2.0 but you are getting sued i can't imagine getting hit with a lawsuit from mr beast for xxx amount of trillion dollars but he's risking it all he is iron manning the shit out of the avengers in this game by snapping his finger unaliving himself destroying his own life but taking the biggest youtuber thanos down with him now there's no updates or statements from mr beast himself but his team responded this is chucky co-founder of view stats also run mr beast's idea and thumbnails team love date you know he works with mr beast basically and just two days ago he made a statement about debunking dog packs allegation and it was fucking horrible i quickly want to debunk some of the info since the guy who made uh, the video was was on my team it was my decision to fire him for erratic behavior he worked at the company for less than a month and wasn't an employee for most of the videos he mentioned to have knowledge on the only thing i believe from mr chucky throughout this whole statement is saying the dog pack has an erratic behavior there's so much in this video and i want to specifically address him saying our videos are fake or staged because this is not true and i was on set for many of these videos congratulations someone who is currently working for mr beast coming out saying no guys it's not actually fake i'm not going to share any receipts with you but trust me bro it's not it's not fake trust me this is the first response he gave to the allegation you won't get in a video unless your family or friends would so or someone works for mr beast he went on and he said it's a wild statement basically hundreds of thousands of people work for mr beast the squid game the one 200 ages this isn't what people had problem with people had problem with mr beast and the team rigging the show and choosing the winner on purpose because of them having like a huge reaction Action. no way i want this mr beast i love you so much i don't believe that i want this my life is changed even though this he knew that he was gonna win like three days before the whole show second allegation about the cgi scenes he acts like he's exposing us for using cgi background you see he's only addressing the small things in this situation starting he needs to start off strong the raccoon was a paid actor i don't even know what to say about this clearly not an actor lol thank you for clarifying that it was not an actor island costs more than a dollar not true we did pay one dollars for this island you can google mr beast purchases other bank island for one dollars which stated this before the video was released i did google it i don't know what the fuck i'm looking for but okay this is still a small 
response to the small allegations that happened. Wh where are the expositions to the child gambling? He moved into a mansion two months before me. We're not here to talk about this. This wink was added to the post. The contestant winking and saying like, oh, he's faking his video. The revenge storyline was added in the post. He implies 42 and 58. This is the one, one to 100 uh, years where 58 had a problem with 42. Not a big deal. No one cares. Another allegation, not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. Yeah, obviously you don't have hundreds of thousands of employees, so you are going to be breaking other people as well. Some might be random like that woman who came forward and said i had a horrible experience from mr beast even though she was not related to mr beast at all we know that not every single person is mr beast company employee family members or mr beast's friends again what we have problem is the games being rigged and people in favor winning i i honestly believe he should have never released this debunking attempt of debunking you should have waited for jimmy to respond to all of these him coming forward missing beast jimmy definitely gave him shit for this also i think some of the mr giveaways are fake we do not fake giveaways i have been hands on some of them and have personally been the person to connect with winners with our accounting department to be in pay you suggested we didn't spend one million dollars on Samsung phones i can assure you we did another lie from you where is the proof? Guys, I want to tell you that I had a one night stand chakalaka boom boom with Tyler. I can assure you I did. You don't believe me? I did. I, I assure you I did. Trust me, bro. Trust me. I assure you. Trust me, bro. We I did. I could keep going, but I don't want this to be too long. Where are the other allies? <laughs> Dawson himself said on Reddit that he was on True, which might explain some of the made up stuff. Okay, sure, blame it on whatever you want to blame it on. Dawson was the only uh, employed from March 2024 and was let go in April of uh, 2024. He was on a 90 day trial, which ended early and uh, paid him out on June 25th, as we guaranteed the 90 days of pay. I appreciate it if everyone reading this could help dispose all the fake rumor. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to tell you man to man, fire this person. This person should not represent you and should have never talked to everyone about this whole situation. Dog Pack dig the hole for you. This guy, Chucky, put your name in it. And Dog Pack debunking the bunkers of Mr. Chucky as well. He went through a whole rant of just replying to all these things. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read them if you want to pause it and read it yourself. Go ahead. But he says the video goes into alleged illegal lotteries, which he described as seemingly completely indefensible. You conveniently forgot to address those as well. Jimmy, I'm telling you, fire this man because he just came and added more fuel to the fire because he was offended by the word that he lashed out. You have all these lawyers, PR, HR teams, and you let this guy to come and first and respond to the whole thing. Why well, think Mr. Beast should go forward with this lawsuit? Absolutely not. It is going to make him super, super super duper guilty he shouldn't go for it he should think of other ways to respond to the whole uh, the situation and debunk it he should honestly contact logan paul's hrpr team and take some advice from them because they know how to debunk shit the response to this is not a lawsuit which i think he will go forward with it or his team members are gonna go with this whole situation and it is going to make him so bad and guilty at the same time but the only way for this situation should go forward if i was jimmy we should make a video addressing every single thing if you don't you are guilty just like uh, what's it called uh, cody co by not responding to the allegations guess what he looks 120 percent guilty but anyways this was the 120th video i made about mr beast and this is probably the 3,000 videos you watch about the whole mr beast situation if i tell you this will be the last one it will be a lie because there are many more to come but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you enjoy these yapping updating anchor sessions make sure to drop us up take it for yourself i will see you at the next one